Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady. I'm here today to share a project with you made with this celebration set called Honeycomb Happiness. I'm also going to be using some texture stamps from Timeless Textures and Gorgeous Grunge. To start my card, I have a half a sheet of 8.5 by 11 thick white cardstock folded in half to make my card base. This is also designer series paper from the Wild um, Flowers. It's another celebration offering, and it's a paper offer. So I'm just taking a piece from this and putting it right on here as a mat or a layer. I could set that aside. So on a piece of Whisper White, we're using this absolutely just adorable chick. He is so cute. So to start off with, I will stamp him with the Archival Gray ink, which will prevent, it because it's archival, it will not run when I go over it with ink. So we'll stamp him there. Then I took and made a little mat ahead of time of this little bird. And so let's just cover that up so that I can stamp over him without going um, right on top of him. So I stamped him up, I've covered him. Okay, so the bird is covered up here with a little mask. Let's take this image from the Timeless Textures and I'm inking that up with Lost Lagoon. We're gonna give him just a little ground here. Stamp that. Then I have from the Gorgeous Grunge, just the splatter. And I'm using Calypso Coral. And let's give him just a little background of stamps of that. And I'm going to, I changed it out for Blushing Bride and get just a little bit of texture with that one. So then when we're done, I can pick up my mask and you'll see that the stamping, the spots and the little ground are behind my bird. I took some Hello Honey and I'm going to use the Wink of Stella and that will give it a little glitter, a shimmer. Can you see that little shimmer? So by mixing the Wink of Stella in with the Hello Honey, I'll pick up some of the ink and, and color the bird. And mixing that shimmer right in with the Hello Honey. Okay, so then when you're done, you can just wipe off that ink on scratch paper just like you do with an aqua painter or a blender pen. So I'm done with coloring him up and let's take a Tangelo Twist Marker and just add a little bit of color to the beak and to the feet. My chick is completely colored and I'm going to just layer it right onto a piece of Lost Lagoon. Pull in that card base and let's put our little chick. I'm going to take a piece, a different piece of the uh, flowering fields or the paper and just kind of figure out where I want that chick. Tucked up under a piece, just another strip of designer series paper. That. Okay, so with a piece of washi tape, I'm going to just fold it over on itself. Set that down. And just make kind of a, a little embellishment piece with it. You could stick it straight on there, but I kind of wanted to be able to control where I put it and make it on its own. So I just took and made my own little piece there. I'll attach that with a mini glue dot. Let's add in the little sentiment, oh hello. This comes with the Honeycomb Happiness set. Notch the end with your scissors just by going up in the center and then going up from each end. Punch a little hole in the end. Even though I have a little hole there, I'm going to still tack this piece in place. That way it won't move around as I'm tying the, as I'm tying down, as I'm adding the twine. Wrap that around that just a couple of times. That's why I did not glue it down in the center there because I wanted to, to wrap that around that. Okay, I have that wrapped around and up through that little center and I'm going to tie a little bow here. Ok, 
Okay, so the last part I added some of these itty bitty accents and I used this little heart. So I wanted it a solid Calypso coral, so I just placed it on a piece of Calypso cardstock. And then once it's stuck on there, I just trimmed around it really quick to cut it out. So my last little bit is to add these little little heart epoxy accents to my card here. So I'm just put down some liquid glue. Okay, just added those little epoxy hearts with a little bit of liquid glue. And I have a fun cute hello card with this darling little chick from Honeycomb Happiness ready to go off. I've used the Wink of Stella to add a little bit. Let's see if I can show. There you go. Now you can see the shimmer. If you have any questions about what I've done, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris, at MyStampLady.com. All of these supplies are available in my online store at ShopWithMyStampLady.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady. I'm here with a Valentine sneak peek from the upcoming Occasions Catalog. This card is made with products from the Love Blossoms suite from the upcoming Occasions Catalog. So I'm using the Bloomin' Heart Thin Lits dies and the Bloomin' Love stamp set. To start this I have a 10 by 5 inch piece of thick white cardstock that I folded at 5 inches to create a 5 by 5 card. I'm going to start with stamping the sentiment